Hello everyone, and welcome back to PB Craft. That mining time lapse you just saw was insanely sad. After almost 40 minutes of mining, I got zero. Yes, zero diamonds. Zero diamonds from 40 minutes of mining. I don't know what I did wrong. I was just mining in a straight line, then I started strip mining. I tried everything. I even caved, I didn't find anything. I mean, ah. But then people here on the server are extremely nice. So I got 20 diamonds for 20 hay bales from one person and 32 diamonds for 32 hay bales from another person. You might be wondering what happened to the six diamonds that I had before. Well, I made another diamond pickaxe and a diamond shovel. And I forgot to show you, this is the spider farm now. I added an enchanting table, which was pretty easy for me. I spent two of my diamonds on that as well. So that's six, yeah, that's six diamonds from last episode. And then I added a grindstone and an anvil and 15 bookshelves were insanely easy to get. My cow farm is popping off. My cow farm is very, very amazing. It has so many cows now. I'm just proud of my cow farm. And the XP was also not a problem. So I got a silk touch efficiency for an unbreaking three. I got insanely lucky here. This was like my first enchant. Like the first time I enchanted, I got this with my, on my pickaxe. And then the second time was a fortune three then a uh, protection three thorns two and unbreaking three this this took a lot of tries but i've just been grinding away i don't have a sword yet i have a shovel that i just created because today we have a project i i made a deal with a fellow pp that if he gives me the materials to make a massive sugarcane farm i'll make it for him for nine netherite ingots and the deal was that i get to use it as well so i don't see how this is a a bad thing. I mean, I don't have to grind for the materials. I just have to build it. I get nine netherite ingots and full access to the farm, which is amazing. Do you guys want to see another time lapse like right now? Well, I don't care. We're going to get into it anyway. I'll see you after I've built the farm. It's going to be amazing and insane because this is very early game. And this sugarcane farm is a very kind of late game farm. I mean, we don't even need this much sugarcane right now. I just made a coastline. I was fine with that. I was, I was like happy with my coastline. I had like a lot of sugarcane. I was fine with that much sugarcane. It was uh, plenty sugarcane for me.
All right, guys, quick update. It's been like five minutes since you last saw me, but I got another deal for 16 diamonds to sell 32 hay bale for 16 diamonds again. I am rich on wheat. And I didn't know it meant I was rich on diamonds, but I am. So now I have a stack and four of diamonds. I am popping off in just diamonds. Just, you know, just selling a lot of wheat and getting a lot of diamonds. Easy, I didn't even need to mine. Well, well guys, welcome back from those time lapses. I really hope you like them. They took a lot of time. Well, after those time lapses off camera, I just used some of my diamonds to make full diamond armor. It's barely made a dent in how many diamonds I have. It's crazy. And I got nine netherite ingots from that sugar, sugar cane time lapse. Well, that sugar cane farm. Because, I mean, great deal, great deal. It took me like three hours to build it, but still like great deal, great deal. I didn't even have to go to the nether and I have like full netherite ki kind of technically now. Nine netherite ingots, that's that's great. And after that, I just, because I didn't want another time lapse in our, in our video, I went ahead and built a little base house for myself. Now, I just wanna give you a hint. This is not my real plan. Oh yeah, this. this it took a lot of redstone to make this, this whole thing, but it looks quite nice. So I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Um, it looks pretty nice. I mean, it kind of lights up the place as well. So it's like when people were trying to be modern, but then they were like still kind of, kind of, kind of old as well. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, maybe like 19th century, 20th century. I'm not really sure, but that's the kind of the vibe I'm going for. Let me just give you a hint. This may or may not be a placeholder for something very, very special. That's gonna take a long time to make. Perhaps a secret project. Perhaps a massive project that's gonna take a long time to undertake, but it's gonna be completely worth it. I mean, you do see I've cleared out a lot of land here, a lot of land, but I built a house that's fairly small. Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder, wonder why. Well, you're gonna have to keep watching the series to figure that out. It's gonna be absolutely insane. That's all I'm gonna say. It's gonna be insanely amazing. It's gonna be a massive project. I don't know when I'll reveal it, but I'll keep working on it. I have not started working on it yet because, hint number one, I need to go to the nether for it. And I haven't been to the nether yet. What is it, like the third episode of this new world? And I haven't been to the nether yet. Well, it's episode nine, but it's the third episode of the new new world that is pp craft also i mean guys come on join pp craft i'm not getting a lot of people this time from youtube last time i got i got tons i had a very sad encounter with a lot of phantoms recently that's a lot of stake i had to create like a mini automatic smelter thing to to take care of all the stake that i'm accumulating anyway so i need to go and find some obsidian oh there we go that was easy obsidian so yeah, I don't wanna bore you with mining obsidian. It takes forever. All right guys, so that was 15 obsidian. Uh, I, sh I wanted to mine 14, but I can't count. What we've learned today, gamers, is wheat equals diamonds. Don't bother mining, just get wheat. All right, so what would be a good place for a nether portal? I mean, I just want it to be in my backyard. So I mean, why not? Oh, I want it to be big. Oh man. Yeah, I want it to be big. Okay, I am one obsidian short. My life sucks. All right, so I mined one more obsidian. I had to go all the way back just for one obsidian. Well, it's there now. And nether, let's go, guys. Our first steps. One small step for Battle Bee. Massive step for PB Trap. We need to go deeper. Yes, we do. Indeed, we need to go deeper. Oh no, the linking's fucked. Well, I mean, I hope they've made this staircase down to a fortress, which would be indeed very helpful. Oh yes, it is. It is down to a fortress. That's that's just great. So guys, we can get a fortress today as well. Can we get a wither spell? Wither skeleton spell, please. Uh, some blaze rods would be nice. No, 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 don't knock me off. Don't knock me off. Oh, uh, die, 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 wither skeleton, die. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm heading back. I'm heading back, guys. I am not ready for this. I am quite stacked, but I did not realize how strong Wither Skeletons and Blazes are. And I do not have full protection for in my armor. I have, like, fire protection. I have more fire protection than actual protection. I have... Alrighty, so I have my... All 
All right, guys, so that was me missing like 30 shots on a wither skeleton. Blaze rod? Come on. Come on. How? How no blaze rod? What? Okay. No, nope. wither skeleton. You may hit me on my sh Oh, oh, you're stuck. That's great. Do you need some help, step sis? Guys, this ain't great. This ain't great. This is. Let's go. That's that's progress, guys. Today's episode is full of progress. That's all we've done all day today. Progress. Just massive progress. One blaze rod. That is progress. That's a lot of progress. One blaze rod. Massive sugarcane farm. Mining session with no diamonds. Um, uh, base. Why are you right behind that zombified? And that's the same chest. Of course, that's the freaking same freaking chest. Oh my god. Oh my god. That did not just happen. No freaking way. Ooh, ooh, again? I had an internal panic attack. I was about to cry. Oh my god. Oh, I would have been very, very disheartened if I lost my stuff. Okay, that's enough. Guys, we're heading back. I'm heading back home. I do not know which way home is, but I'll figure it out. This this ledge is tripping, bro. Okay, there we go. Home's that way. There's, thankfully, a cobblestone staircase and a path all the way down to the nether portal. Okay, so that was not great. That was not great. <laughs> I almost had a heart attack. Not great. <laughs> that's my base right there. It's looking so nice up over there. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm per what, what is, what is happening over there? Uh, great. So I'll leave that be. Is it my base? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what I have planned later? So stick to it. Stick to PB Craft. Please keep watching. <laughs> keep watching. Look guys, the real ne reason that I wanted to go to the nether was actually Blackstone. That's one of the blocks I'll need for the for the very secret project that I am working on. And I also do need a beacon. I need a beacon so bad. So we are going to have to beat the Ender Dragon quite soon. I think one of the other PPs have already found in the, the end portal, but I don't think they have enough Ender Eyes or something. Uh, whatever, I'll, we can we can beat the Ender Dragon whenever. It's not really a big deal. Also guys, quick check on the sugarcane farm. It has been producing a lot. Oh, uh, that's not right. That's not right. Why do the minecarts fall? Why do you fall? Why? Okay, I'm gonna have to fix this. All right, so someone probably just logged on mid-session of the flying machine, so it was kind of broken. I just rebuilt it and everything's fine, so no need to worry. All right, guys, that was great. That was great progress for one episode. I'm really happy with what we did today. We did a lot of building, a lot of productive stuff as well. So next episode target, get mending. Mending zombie, can you can you can you look? Do you mind? Do you mind? Anyway, guys, goodbye.